children. Today's movie is, uh... Rusty, what are you doing sitting in Vampire's chair? I am taking a load off. What's it look like I'm doing? You're the cameraman! It doesn't even matter! I think I have everything set up just perfectly fine. The whites have been balanced. I got the tripod... That balanced. doesn't matter! You're the cameraman! Where is Van Bond? She is face. supposed to be here! Okay, if that's what you want, I'll get you... Van Bond! What a dope! From the camera! Today's movie takes place uh, in sort of now at times, but it's a caveman movie. It's all about the guy. He's big. He's about eight feet tall. And uh, he terrorizes a rock star and I don't know all that, but it's Ega! Spelled with two E's, G-A-H-E-G-A. It's a terrible film, but you kids will enjoy it. Don't spill your cereal. Dale. Uh. 
Jean. Not to me, Tom. Oh, Tommy. Oh. What's the matter? What happened? Oh, is he gone? Who? Is he? I didn't see anybody. Just take it easy and tell me what happened. I saw a giant. What? Well, I did. Honest, I saw a giant. Children, guess what? Vampon, guess what? It's joke time. Today, uh, Rusty, get, what are you doing? You're supposed to be behind the camera, stupid. Whoa, why did the caveman go to the dentist? I don't know. Why? He had a cavity. Huh. Yeah, because he lives in the cave, but that is truth anyway. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Hello? Yes? Dad'll understand. It's just one of those things. Just a minute, please. Do you know where Deep Canyon is? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've been there lots of times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Kruger. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? Yes. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. There you are, Deep Canyon. I don't see Dad anyplace. Maybe we're early. Gravesend, joke time. Hey! Why aren't you behind the camera? Because I think I would like to tell a joke now. I have a funny one. A funny. <laughs> I'm gonna tell a funny. Then tell it. Why do cavemen drag their women by their hairs? Because if they drag them by their feet, they f <laughs> That's a doozy. You're disgusting.
Roxy. 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 Oh, Dad. Oh. Oh, are you hurt? I think my collarbone's broken. Here, let me help you. How did you get here? Well, we came looking for you, and, and we were both so worried that we didn't know what to do. No, 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 she's mine, she's mine. He understands you. Oh, uh, we got a beautiful friendship going. Dad! Uh, uh, don't do anything to scare him. Me? Scare him? Smile. Smile. He likes your perfume. Smell all you want. Go ahead. What became of the others? What others? Keep smiling. You didn't come out here alone, did you? No. Tom's with me. I mean, he's out there someplace. Oh, he's just curious. Hold still. It's Old real, Roxy. see? Oh, looking. Ooh. I always let it ring twice. I don't know why. Hello? Ega! It's Caveman Woodman and Bam Bam Moss! <laughs>
watch him with that shaving bomb. job of shaving him, Roxy. There's no way of telling how old that fellow is. Roxy.
whatever, from somewhere down that way. He said that's a good joke for a caveman. What did the caveman have for lunch? Super sauce. sandwich. Oh. Club soda. Club sandwich. I get it. He was at a club. <laughs> I like your answer better than mine. Peter, you stupid kid. for you. Perhaps you've noticed that I'm not wearing my regular glasses and Vampon is wearing very cool glasses as well. You too could get glasses not as cool as these like this. So because we have a film coming up that'll be entirely in 3D so when you put these glasses on things will jump at you but don't worry they're not going to spill your cereal so what you want to do is Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. Have your parents or grandparents tell you how to do that because most of you don't know what even that means. Uh, with some money if you want. If not, just a self-addressed stamped envelope and we will send you a pair of these and maybe we'll autograph them for you. Uh, they are very cool and you'll be able to watch the film and all of the things will be projected at you. You won't believe it until you see it. 3D. Are we done? Yes, we are done. These are glasses are so cool. Send a software stamped envelope to the address on the screen and you'll get your own 3D glasses. I know it's not working right now, but it's only because you don't have these. But if you had these, my hand would be poking you in the nose. Just like that. Things happen according to the 
Jericho, you turn to the left at the sign of the toe, to the end the old house on the Brownville Road. The old rock house on the Brownville Road. A crazy things happen according to the code. The code of the ghost at the sign of the toe. Nobody lives on the Brownsville Road. They scream and they sway and they bring in the day and the wind sound make you shiver. They dance and they sing the wild and the noise goes down to the river. You see, nobody lives on the Brownsville Road. They grin and they rave of the cold, cold grave And they do the razz on the tag Their neck bones click as they swing the jigs I rock on to the Brownsville jazz At the old rock house on the Brownsville road I, I don't blame you in the least Oh, you don't Nobody lives on the Brownsville road Like nobody lives there, dig? She's my girl. I'm gonna smash. says so in the book of Genesis. There were giants in the earth in those days. Chapter 4, verse 32.
was really awful, but boy, that band was amazing, huh? They were a great band. I dig those guys very much so. And, uh, I have a... Hey, Rusty, hey, what are you my doing? my name is Rusty. Get out and of here. And I am the camera. I think the show looks wonderful. Get out of here. Can't you say hello to me? Get out of here. I am the camera. I'm the you. I am here to apologize. I am sorry for my actions, and I apologize to you, Vampon, and you, Grayson. That's okay, Rusty. You're a good kid. Don't push me. Rusty will be back next week, kids. Mm. <laughs> With another good film called The Toenail That Ate Pittsburgh. I think you've seen that before. 1947. Pittsburgh wasn't even a state then. But you'll join us next week. Remember, kids, don't spill your cereal. <laughs> hi, I just thought I'd call and say, hi.